have to say our wedding party is looking pretty bougie tonight, so... But honestly, Ryan and Farron, thank you for hooking me up with this wedding um, and getting to be part of this small, diverse army you call the wedding party has been a tremendous honor. In case anyone was confused, despite our many similarities, the groom and I are not related. Um, we boys, though. <laughs> for those that don't know me, my name is Nick, and I'm an investment who's known the groom for about 14 years, and somebody who shared a lot of learnable moments together growing up. Uh, for those that do know me, I, I apologize. Uh, <laughs> they say marriage is perhaps our last best chance to grow up. And speaking of growing up, Brian, when we first met in 04, I, I didn't know what to say. No, no, I, I legit didn't know what to say because I didn't know any English. I just came to Canada. <laughs> I, uh, it was only a year later that we ended up in the same class, right? And <laughs> I, think, I think that's when you and I really took off. We were partners for a lot of things, so I remember, from essay writing to uh, being PE buddies to well, our science fair project. And I actually just brought it up to you just now, and you said that you don't remember our science fair project. I don't know if you're trying to suppress it, or it's probably the case. Good old science fair project. Um, being the leader that he was, he decided to take the lead on it, and I let him do it. Literally, he waited till the last minute to do it, and it wasn't until his mom, Miss Tate, to come grab us from the park to complete. So, true story. Uh, it was rough, but we, we pulled what I call a good old classic Ryan. Um, more on that later. Going into high school, just as our genetic differences became prominent, i.e. he started to outgrow me, we two kind of took a break from one another. But fortunate enough, we still live like five minutes away from each other, so we never grew far enough away from one another. Even after high school, we continued to stay buds, even though we didn't go to the same universities, we were kept in the loop with one another throughout. Dating Farron was perhaps a turning point in our relationship. Um, I still remember the day he was telling us boys about her. The next thing you know, I felt like I see him in her Instagram stories more than I've seen him in person. But uh, to be fair, I haven't been around much, so. Growing up with Ryan, his competitiveness was contagious. We were savage. We would talk trash um, to one another, whether at school, at basketball, or, you know, girls, or lack thereof, in my case. Uh, look, academically, it was powerful stuff, right? But I'm, I'm already Asian. I probably didn't need that. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, it wrapped off on me, but in a good way. It's all good, fam. Farron, you're, you're the absolutely beautiful bride tonight. Oh, you're this kick-ass nurse and you're the whole package. Um, you're so full of life, so vibrant, kind, so cool. Such a heck of a catch and I can use all the superlatives in the world. But what's crazy is I think you're stunning inside out. Most importantly, not only are you gonna make him happy in ways I can't. Uh, I, I, I just think you're gonna make him better in so many ways because he's so dang competitive, right? You're, you're only gonna bring out the very best in him. I'm so glad that I got to know you over these past few years since our Bathany days. So, one more thing I wanna say is that uh, there was one moment that just stood out to me above all. There were many moments. Three years ago, Ryan and I were smoking a cigar that Ryan had brought back from Mexico in 2015, just outside our old elementary school. Because we like to be sketchy sometimes. Uh, <laughs> and when I asked you, Ryan, how you had felt about Farron, you said that you think she's the one. That she's the one you're gonna marry. And that night, that's when I knew that it's for real. It's, it's for real. And, and then I started writing this speech in September 2015. <laughs> and then, and just, just when you look at her, God knows, you look at her knowing she's everything you need in a woman. Just an enhancement to one of the best human beings I already know to exist. Uh, Ryan, I, one more thing. You've had such a big impact on my life even though we have taken each other for granted from time to time. More than you ever know, you've had such a big impact on me. I'm beyond grateful for how you continue to include me in so, so much. 
and how you try to bring God back into my life. Uh, day one, you've always had the best intention with the best heart. Day one, you accepted me in. You took, you guys took me in, you and your family. It sounds like I'm adopted, but I'm not. I love my mom. I love my mom. And you show me nothing but kindness, inclusiveness, and selflessness, even though you're now an Arsenal fan for some reason. I still love you. I still love you. You made me realize so much about our friendship and me. And arguably more important, you taught me that if waiting till the last minute to do our science for a project, we can still get a solid B minus, then the sky's our limit. <laughs> Just rolling into that gym with our poster, like gangbusters, like with our head held high, and knowing that if it were not for your mom that day to come grab us from the park, we wouldn't have been able to pull that off. So thank you, Mrs. Haight, for that, for coming through. As a man, as a friend, you're of the highest kind, quality, and order supreme. I'm so proud, so happy for you, my brother. And it is my biggest honor to be here tonight. It means everything to me. Look, I was your science for a partner. And now it looks like you got yourself another one. Um, but one I think is truly going to bring out the best in you. I can't wait for your lives to take off. Um, I will always root for you both, Ryan and Vern. Whatever you guys need, dog sit, babysit. I can wait nine months. It's cool. Now comes my favorite part of the evening, making everybody drink. All right, so let's all raise our glasses um, to Ryan and Farron. I wish you a lifetime of happiness. I love you guys. Cheers. And God bless.